In this video, we're going to talk about the Leica Look, the famous Leica Look. Hello, Matt Osborne here from MrLeica.com. Do photos from Leica cameras look different from non Leica cameras? When I bought my first Leica camera, it was a digital Leica M9, and I bought that camera 100% because of the look of the images. So the question is, if you are a Leica shooter, did you buy your Leica camera because of the look of the images or because of perhaps the Leica branding or the, the minimalism of Leica cameras? Or if you like rangefinder cameras, for example. So today I just want to go a bit more in depth about what is the Leica look. Is the Leica look from the lens? Is the Leica look from the camera sensor? Do you need a Leica lens and a Leica sensor to get the, the full Leica look? Obviously this video is all opinion based like all of my videos, so do write in the comments if you agree, disagree to any of the points in this video. So if we break it down, in my mind, there are three ways to get the Leica look, perhaps four. Number one, you use a Leica lens on a non-Leica camera. Number two, use a digital Leica camera with a non-Leica lens. Number three, potentially the best combination you would think, use a Leica lens on a Leica digital camera. And number four, you could try and fake it with presets and use a non Leica camera and a non Leica lens. Is that even possible? We shall see. So to test that theory, here are a series of images. And the question is, firstly, do these cameras have the Leica look? Obviously it's all opinion. And then as you're viewing these photos, are these photos shot with images shot with a Leica lens plus Leica camera, a Leica lens plus a non Leica camera, a non Leica lens on a digital Leica camera, or finally, they're not Leica at all. The answer is, none of those are shot with a Leica lens, and none of those are shot with a Leica camera. Yet, to my mind, they still have a bit of a Leica look to them. So this time, there will be some form of Leica in these images. So here are another set of images. Are they Leica lens? only are they like a body only or are they like a lens and like a body now you could say it's impossible to tell and that's partly the reason i'm making this video so all those photos were shot with a like a lens on a non like a camera okay so next we're going to do like a camera photos with non like a lenses please write in the comments if you disagree but i really would say that these photos have the like a look when I say like a look, I'm looking at the rendering and just the general feel of the photos. I think if you look on some Leica photographer's websites, all the photos will have a, a certain look to them. But for any of you that use lots of different lenses, you know that you can get so many different looks from your same Leica camera. Okay, next, these are photos shot with a Leica lens and a Leica camera. Do they look more Leica-like? more of a like a look than the previous sets of images we've just looked at. Now you could argue, and I'd probably agree with you, that the lens makes more of an impact on the final photo than the camera sensor. So you can use a really interesting lens on a standard CMOS sensor and still get potentially a like a look. So for example, these photos are shot with Leica lenses on a Panasonic Lumix S5 camera body. And then when I process the images, I just apply my Leica Look Adobe Lightroom presets to all the images. And to my mind, the photos from the Lumix S5 have enough of a Leica Look for me to not be upset that they look completely different to my Leica photos. The second option is if we look at the camera sensor itself. Again, I'm sure it's a point which is hotly debated, but you could argue that any CMOS sensor looks more or less the same. It could be a Sony CMOS sensor, it could be a Lumix CMOS sensor, what I'm recording with, or it could be a Leica CMOS sensor. That then opens up another can of worms, as they say, because it's argued that some Leica lenses don't perform as well on non Leica camera sensors. For example, it's quite well known that some Leica lenses don't work as well on Sony sensors, for example. I won't go down that rabbit hole in terms of thickness of the sensor and all that in this video, but Leica has said to modify some of their Leica camera sensors to make sure that you get the best look from the Leica lenses. I can't say I've noticed a difference when I compared the Leica SL2S to the Lumix S5. To me, both images looked more or less the same using M lenses or Leica R lenses or Leica SL lenses. But it is definitely the case for some Leica lenses on Sony cameras and Fuji cameras as I understand it. 
So then what about if we compare Leica cameras versus Leica cameras? Now it's getting really geeky. So you could argue that Leica M cameras have more of a Leica look than Leica SL cameras. Don't shoot me, I'm just speculating um, from some of the Leica guys that I've spoken to. The Leica M240 and Leica M10 are said to have more of a filmic look to the sensor than the Leica SL cameras. That was just what I was told by one of the Leica representatives. But if you think that's true, let me know in the comments. It'd be interesting to hear if, if there is any fact in that. So if we compare Leica SL, there's obviously Leica Q cameras and lots of other Leica cameras, but I'm mainly looking at, say, Leica SL cameras versus Leica M cameras. Some may say that the SL cameras have more of a normal look or less Leica look or less film look, you could say. And then the M cameras have more of the kind of organic look. I've not noticed a huge difference when I did my Leica SL review, my Leica SL2 review, Leica CL review, comparing all of those cameras to the Leica M240 or the Leica M10. I didn't notice a huge difference. There were small differences, but whether you could pick that up or not is another thing. And then lastly, there's also differences between Leica M cameras. In my mind, the ultimate Leica look would be shooting a Leica CCD camera sensor with a Leica lens. So your options are the Leica M9 or the Leica M8. Those two cameras have the Kodak CCD sensor, which looks, to my mind, a lot more filmic than the Leica M240 and the Leica M10. I still remember the huge disappointment when I part exchanged my Leica M9 to buy the Leica M240, and it took me like nine to 12 months, I think I wrote a blog post on it, to learn to love the Leica M240. The noticeable difference was so huge in terms of the, the images went from interesting to completely boring. That's why I use my Mr. Leica presets so heavily today because I had to engineer some life back into my Leica M240 images. So if we now try to summarize, I think there's a really strong argument that if you're using a CMOS sensor, it is pretty much all the work of the lens which is making the, the look of the images. Hopefully we can maybe agree on that. And then how you edit the photos. You could edit them to look completely modern. You could edit them to look more like a look like. Hopefully that's what I tried to do with my images and my presets. But unless you're using the like M8 or the like M9, which I think is the ultimate look in terms of most filmic, other than shooting proper film, which is why I shoot a lot of film. If you're trying to get some nice images out of your like M camera, it really is important that you pick the right lens for the look that you're you're trying to achieve. I think when many people think of the Leica look, they think of the shallow depth of field and kind of the glowy highlights. So for this type of rendering, you're probably best looking at vintage lenses. But here's the kicker. You don't necessarily need to look at Leica lenses, from my experience. A great example would be something like the Canon 50mm 1.4 LTM lens. That gives a Leica look the same as a Leica lens, but it's not made by Leica. And then Leica lenses, which I think do give a Leica look, lenses like the Leica Summerit 50 1.5, like a Scimitar 50 f2, like a Noctilux 50 f1 version 2, the older one, not the later one. And then obviously early versions of like a Summicron, say the like a Summicron dual range that I use, or say a prehispherical like a Summilux lens. All of those lenses, to my mind, give a very like a look look. <laughs> But then you could argue lenses like the Nikkor 51.2 AIS lens or the Nikkor 135mm 2.8 pre-AI lens. Those two Nikkor lenses to me also give a Leica look, yet they're not made by, made by Leica. And then the same argument goes for many of the other vintage lenses. So in conclusion, does the Leica look exist? Do you need a Leica camera? I would argue no, based on the results I've got from my Lumix S5. Do you need an interesting lens? Absolutely yes. Do you need to edit in a certain way to get a certain look from your CMOS sensor? I would argue yes. If you look at some of the photos shared in the Leica Facebook groups, I think many people edit to a certain style of look, which then may generate the Leica look appearance because they're using Leica cameras, so everyone thinks that's the look from the camera. When actual fact, it's the look that they're editing to. I would say my Leica look presets for, say, the Lumix S5 or the Leica presets I sell for the M8, M9, M10, SL, SL2, SL2S, Leica Q, Q2, and so on. Mine are all inspired by a combination of the Leica M9, Leica M8, and shooting film. 
I'm just trying to inject some of the interestingness from the the images I've seen into my CMOS sensor files. So that's how I edit and whether you think that's the local look from if you follow me on say Flickr, let me know in the comments. But then equally if I post colour photos, often they could just look like any other colour photos and not necessarily like a colour photos. So I think that's why it really is a big debate on whether the like a look exists or doesn't exist. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a like a shooter, do you agree? Is it mainly the lens which is important and how you edit the photos? And potentially for an M8 or M9 shooter, the sense is the most important thing. Or perhaps you're a Nikon guy or a Sony guy or a Fuji guy. Do you feel you can get like a look photos from your cameras using perhaps a vintage like a lens or even non like a lenses? Do you still feel that you can get the same look from your sensors? Please let us know in the comments and we can get a consensus from this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. P.S. If you're still watching, today I'm using the Leica Summicron R 50mm f2 lens at f2. So if I'm not in focus, that's because the depth of field is really shallow. But hopefully my nose will look less big because there's less distortion than on a 35mm lens. I'm just looking at the, the camera LCD. It might be a bit too much of a chopped head look than more, maybe more of a slightly more in body shot. The only advantage of the 50mm is the background looks nicer. <laughs> P.S. as always, big thanks to my patrons. Bye.